this recipe, I'm going to show you a great save. You know what this is? This is a pierogi. And if you're from Canada or Poland or anywhere around the world, you might have heard of pierogies. So I'm going to show you instant, instant, fast way how to make pierogies. And by the way, October 8th is National Pierogi Day. So here we go. Something for fall. It's a great save. So here we go. Oh, by the way, I hope you like it. That's a pierogi on a fork. Now the traditional pierogi is made with dough and it's a handmade process and it is so good. The traditional style, you cannot beat it. So I'm just saying in advance what I'm doing, an alternative when you don't have time and I truly miss pierogies. Dough can be slow. So we're going to speed that up with some oven ready lasagna noodles. Potatoes traditionally get boiled and then mashed. Well, that takes time too. So instead, your choice, instant mashed potatoes. You're going to need some cheese. Now you can grate it. Again, that takes time. Or just get some that's already shredded. Spruce it up with whatever you really have. Cottage cheese. You'll need at least one egg. Salt and pepper. Or you could also use Montreal steak spice. Now you could chop up an onion. Or just go fast with some onion flakes. You're going to need a tray or a baking tray. This is a 9 by 13. Grease it well. The beauty of oven ready lasagna, you don't have to boil these. We are going to take as many as your pan requires. We're going to layer the bottom with these. There it is, the bottom layer. You're going to need instant mashed potatoes already made. If you prepare it according to whatever directions of potato you have, you're going to need at least two cups to spread over these noodles. Mmm, does that look good or does that look good? Now I've added a little bit of Montreal steak seasoning. I'm going to add one cup of my grated cheese. I'm going to blend this with the mashed potato. Then I'm going to add them on. The lasagna noodles. Mmm, it is almost ready. These are cheesy mashed potatoes. Doesn't that look good? Here. Next, let's put some more lasagna noodles. Another five will cover the top. Let's do that right now. And depending on your tray, you might want to put an extra little piece on the potatoes. Okay. Really fast. In another little bowl, blend, mix. One egg to one cup of cottage cheese. So while I'm mixing these up, I started to think these are practically impatient pierogies. Maybe I should call them impatient pierogies. These are so fast. These are so quick. You can make these too. I'm also adding another one half teaspoon of Montreal steak spice. And once it's mixed, you just layer it on. Here we go. Quick, easy. And then take a moment, smooth it around. Now, depending on your pan, you may need to adjust a little more or a little less. So I'm just adding a little bit more along the edge. Now we're ready for the last and final topping. Now we need another five instant lasagna noodles. This is so easy to make. I hope you make this. I also hope you're liking this video. Maybe give it a thumbs up. Maybe even share that to that friend that likes lasagna or pierogies too. I'm making this like a casserole. Okay, don't forget the ends. Look how quick and easy this is. There we go. Now we're ready for the last and final topping. The grand finale is the topping with loaded up with onions in a saute but if you don't have time to chop up onions so i'm using one half cup of onion flakes 
and I'm going to rehydrate these in one full cup of melted butter. I'm just going to put this in another small bowl with the onion flakes. I'm going to give that a bit of a stir or if you're in a hurry and all of the theme here has been impatient pierogies, you can always get some real bacon bits. I'm going to just go ahead and use the whole pack. <laughs> and then we're just going to pour on the liquid butter with the onion. Doesn't that look good? By the way, this little pack is only two and a half ounces, so it's perfect topping for this size of a tray. Next, let's real quick preheat the oven. You need 350 degrees Fahrenheit and it'll cook for less than an hour. Fast. Before you pop it in the oven, be sure to cover it just like that. While we're waiting for the oven to preheat, did you know the largest pierogi in the world is actually in Alberta, Canada? in Glendon, Alberta. Yes, it is. That massive pierogi is 6,000 pounds and on a fork, something like 25 feet high. That's pretty cool. So if you think about it, that's a lot of pierogi. If you like this video so far, maybe consider liking. And if you really, really like this video and these ideas and maybe want to try a recipe, Maybe consider subscribing and smack that little button. Mmm, impatient pierogies. Let's have a slice together. That's nice. Bacon, onion, cheese, potato. Tastes like home. Mm. Well, that's it for today. I hope you liked today's video. If you have, Leave a thumbs up. Maybe leave a comment of where you were last, the last time you had a pierogi, and what kind it was. Mmm. Until next time, do take care. And au revoir.